everyone. My name is Mo Zulfikar and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot and we have an exciting dividend opportunity for you. But before I go into any details, I want to let you know that anything you hear in this video is for information and educational purposes only. Nothing here should be taken as personalized investment advice. Investing, no matter how safe it sounds, comes with risk. To read more about it, please see the description below. Over the past few months, there's one phenomenon that has taken over the mainstream headlines, and it's artificial intelligence, uh, AI for short. One tool that kicked off this you know, euphoria in the mainstream was ChatGPT, a chatbot released by this company called OpenAI. With that, you know, investor rushed to buy stocks like NVIDIA, Alphabet, Microsoft, because they thought that they were at the cutting edge of you know, AI and could improve it and over the next coming years could profit from it. And you've really seen their stock price have skyrocketed as well. But in the midst of it, there's one company that continues to get ignored, or at least from my perspective, and it's, it's you know, we, we know about this, but nobody seems to be talking about it. It's called International Business Machine, or IBM for short, traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol IBM. John? Yes, thanks, Bo. Exactly. People may not realize it, or maybe they do, but IBM is the company that invented the computer, floppy disk, hard drive, automated teller machine, and I, their AI supercomputers, super Deep Blue and Watson. In fact, when it comes to innovation in AI, if you have the lineage that IBM does, and as you said, IBM may not be in the attention that NVIDIA Corporation, Alphabet, and Microsoft Corp are, whose shares are up 162%, 44%, and 40% year-to-date, respectively. But it would be an oversight to ignore IBM. They even claim or highlight their AI prowess on their investor page with the claim that IBM has defined a clear strategy to lead in the era of hybrid cloud and AI. The company also mentions AI numerous times in its first quarter financial results press release. So IBM obviously doesn't want you to forget that it helped lay the foundation for AI. John, tell me a little bit about what IBM does and what it's known for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. IBM, which also goes by the moniker Big Blue, is one of the world's largest IT services company, uh, the dominant provider of mainframe and leader in the public cloud, AI, software, and data management services. Uh, the company has a roster of 80,000 business partners to service 5,200 clients, which includes 95% of all Fortune 500 companies. Uh, even though people think of IBM as a business-to-business -business company, its outward reach is massive. For example, IBM manages 90% of all credit card transactions globally and is responsible for 50% of all wireless connections in the world. And where does IBM stand on their AI innovation or you know, where, where do they stand compared to other companies? Uh, IBM is content to let Google, Microsoft, and open AI create their own chatbots. IBM's strategy is to help its customers harvest their valuable data and create their own AI applications. For example, IBM is helping a bank develop better compliance and audit data. It's also building out a domain-specific data set for a chemistry company. Uh, today, IBM has built, I think, 20 domain models. Uh, in addition to chemistry and banks, it has built a bottle to write code, make IT operations more efficient, and it's actually working with NASA to improve its weather modeling. And it will need a lot of different AI models to keep up with the pace of innovation, too. It's Watson X AI platform is designed to do just that. Uh, and it's miles removed from Watson, the Jeopardy playing AI supercomputer. Watson X trains and deploys machine learning models. Uh, in addition to Watson X, IBM has AI products for virtually every possible application that supports everything from digital labor, proactive IT, cybersecurity automation, AI infrastructure, and more. It also recently partnered with AI startup Hugging Face, which has a library of 130,000 models. Now let's talk about the financials at IBM. What happened in the first quarter of 2023? Yeah, IBM reported pretty solid first quarter results. It announced that revenue increased 0.4% year over year to 14.3 billion. Net cash from operating activity increased to 3.8 billion, while free cash flow inched up to 1.3 billion. IBM ended the first quarter with 17.6 billion in cash and marketable securities. That's up 8.8 .8 billion. From year end 2022, uh, management said that clients continue to turn to IBM for its unique combination of open hybrid cloud platform and enterprise focused AI to unlock productivity and drive efficiency in their operations. 
And this gives the company and management confidence in its growth expectations for revenue and free cash flow for the year. John, I know technology companies are not really known for, you know, paying dividends, but I read in your article at IncomeInvestors.com that IBM has paid dividends every quarter since 1920. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If you check out their website, Investor Relations, and go to the dividend section, you'll see that they have not missed a dividend payout since 1920. That means it didn't miss it during the stock market crash of 29, World War II, any recessions or pandemics. In fact, few companies have a story to history with dividends as IBM. Uh, and that equals 433 quarters of consecutive dividend payments and counting. Most recently in June, it paid a quarterly distribution of $1.66 per share or $6.64 on an annual basis. And that works out to a, a, a yield of 5.01%. For context, that's higher than the current inflation rate of 4.9%. And that's up from $1.65 it paid in the previous quarter. It also represents the 20th consecutive year in which IBM has raised its annual dividend. And compared to its peers, IBM's 5% dividend is downright massive. Microsoft pays a dividend of just 0.81%. NVIDIA's annual dividend is even tinier at 0.04%, and Alphabet doesn't even pay a dividend. What about IBM's stock price? As it, I, I know we we touched a little bit about performance of Alphabet and you know Microsoft stock. What's happening with IBM? Well, and that's where it gets interesting, I think, for income investors. Uh, IBM is not only entrenched in the AI industry, it also has a deeper understanding of AI than virtually all of its competitors. But its share price is not yet following the same trajectory of its peers. Yeah, for example, NVIDIA stock is up 162% year to day, followed by Alphabet at 44% and Microsoft at 40%. IBM, on the other hand, is down 3.5% since the start of the year. But in addition to being in the red, it's also trading at a bargain with a forward PE of 14.0%. or 14.0. Uh, by comparison, NVIDIA has a forward PE of 52.6, Alphabet 23.5, and Microsoft 30.4. And despite the company's tepid share price moves in 2023, the outlook for IBM stock remains robust, with Wall Street analysts providing a 12-month share price target of $146.56 to $162 per share, which is a pretty bullish call. John, thank you so much for talking about IBM traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol IBM. While if you, if you listen to the mainstream financial press, you'll hear a few names that are centered around AI. IBM is one of those names that have been building AI applications for over 40 years. And it's not just about AI here. For dividend investors, you could generate decent amount of income with IBM stock. It has paid its dividends since 1920. Yeah, that's amount, that amounts to about 433 quarters. It's not just about AI at IBM. Yes, it does uh, AI, but it also has other operations as well. It's reporting strong financial results and because of its growth expectation and free cash flow generation it is well positioned to continue returning value to its shareholders uh, in coming years that's it for today we'll be back with another income idea stay tuned if you want to read more uh, you could go to incomeinvestors.com and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel